Welcome. Thanks for joining me here on the Sylvan Reflections channel. Ever since my recent backpacking trip to the Purchase Knob area, I've been wanting to do a short video about it and all the cool stuff to be found there. It is a beautiful area. Purchase Knob area is located about seven miles northwest of Lake Junaluska. That's, you know, in a straight line. I've outlined the Purchase Knob area in blue, but please note this is only an approximation as I was unable to find an official map. In any case, this area is situated right between the Great Smoky Mountains National Park on the west side and the Cataloochee Valley on the east side. To be more specific, this area is on the east side of the Cataloochee Divide Trail, snuck right up against it. The Purchase Knob area itself has an elevation of 5,086 feet. This area has an interesting history. It was originally part of a 6,000 acre plot that was purchased by Colonel Robert Love back in the 1800s. In 1964, Catherine McNeil and Voigt Gilmore purchased a 535 acre portion of those 6,000 and it borders the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This 535 acres they got includes Purchase Knob and a slightly lower knob or bald on which they later built a nice house. In 2001, Catherine McNeil and Voigt Gilmore did something incredibly generous. They donated those 535 acres and the house and buildings on it to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This was the largest ever increase or donation to the park since it was established. After their donation, the house was converted and now serves as the Appalachian Highlands Science Center. This science center is used by ecologists and other scientists to study ecological and other related issues that affect the park. I believe that some of the more recent studies have been focused on lichens and salamanders. The Appalachian Highlands Science Center at Purchase Knob is one of only five research learning centers set up by Congress to support research of ecological and other issues affecting our national parks. This particular building can support up to 10 researchers at a time living at the house. The Science Center is also used for educational programs where the teachers can bring their class to hear presentations and, I believe, get hands-on learning. Okay, how do you get there? If you are coming from the east, you take I-40 for a few miles past Clyde and take the exit for Jonathan Creek Road heading south. After a couple of miles or so, you will turn right onto Grindstone Road for a short stretch before then turning right on Hemp Hill Road, which you will follow until you reach the parking area, which is the last five or six car lengths of paved road. Be careful when you park. If you are not careful, you might end up getting a ticket or having your vehicle towed. Hemp Hill Road is a public road and is paved but it dead ends at a slightly widened turnaround area in front of a gate. Past this gate, it continues as a not public, that is private, I guess, uh, gravel road. Now, folks, here's a disclaimer. This is only my personal position, and it's based on what I've heard and experienced. So please note, I do not claim it to be anything else. This means I'm asking you to please evaluate the information for yourself and act accordingly. Based upon what I've heard from some people at the Park Service and a few of the local residents, the only place to park is that last few car lengths of Hemp Hill Road where it's paved, before the gate, but after that turn off to Imperial Court Road. It's a little small road. Please note that all the property and driveways coming off of the end of Hemp Hill Road is private property. So please be careful where you park. Do not block the gate to the gravel road, which is Purchase Road. Do not block driveways when you park. And when you park, do not park in such a way as to make it impossible for emergency vehicles, which could be year-round, for school buses, which would only be during the school year. You don't want to park in such a way as to make it where they can't turn around. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the fascinating Purchase Knob area. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe and the like buttons, as this will help me to be able to make more videos about the Great Smoky Mountains area. Thank you for watching.